Right then guys, so this is just a little video about water quality. So there's a lot of people on groups and they talk about VDI and softened water and all sorts of types of things. Um, a lot of us don't have time for testing with samples and all that. Um, so this is a quick and easy way to give you an idea of how clean your water is in your system. So if you look on those samples there, they both look fairly clean. And then if we look at this here, you can see there, you can clearly see that at the bottom. And then if we look at this one here, that one, you can't see the bottom. So even though this water actually looks clear, it's not. So that would indicate to us that we obviously we're going to need to do some flushing with that and then this one here that one obviously tells us that it's clean and then if you look on the side of these they actually tell you what action you need to take so with clean one all you need to do is just add an inhibitor and that's job done but on this one here you'll see We've got a sample like this one here. So what that's telling us there is we need to put some chemicals in to clean the system. So we can use some such as like F3 or other chemicals that will do the same job. And then afterwards we can fit a TF1 or again any other type of filter that you want to fit. Um, hopefully something that will actually do the job and get sludge out of the system. And then fluid filter afterwards so F1 or X100 or any chemicals like that and that's it so all you do is um, after you flush your system is just do it again and then just see see if you can get your sample like that one there so on systems that we install we always try and aim to get the system as clean as we can because that's going to prolong the life of the boiler and most boilers come with long warranties now so we need to protect and warranty to our customers. We need to make sure that we're cleaning these systems out. Thanks.